Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Adarsh and today we are going to see how you can do face detection in your browser. In my previous video on face detection, I had used uh, OpenCV in Python to do it. And in this video, we are going to do it using TensorFlow and on the browser. So we can break it down into three main steps. Step one is to get access to your uh, webcam feed. Step two is to perform the actual face detection and step three is to uh, display the results. Let's start with step one, which is to get access to the webcam and its video feed. We'll be using the uh, browser's media devices interface, uh, which lets you get access to connected devices like cameras, microphones, and even screen sharing. So I'm on VS code here. And what I've done is I've created two files, index.html and script.js. So I'm going to add some boilerplate code to this and let's call it face detection. Let's add a h1 tag face detection. And I'll also include the uh, script file inside this. Okay, next I'll create a video tag in the body and give it an ID and call it video. So initially we'll use this to view the uh, webcam feed and then we will pass this to the face detection model to do the actual detection. And I'll create a uh, variable called video to store the video element. And next I'm going to uh, write a function and I'll call it setup camera. And we will call navigator dot media devices and we'll call the get user media api so this takes an object as an argument and inside that object we can specify uh, some of the settings or parameters that we want so here i'm going to say video and you can specify the dimensions so i'm going to say width is 600 and height is 400 and for audio i will set it to false because we do not need the audio and this user media API is going to return a stream object, which is a media stream object. And this tree we will assign to our video elements SRC object attribute. Okay. And finally, we will call this function setup camera. And now let's uh, run this and see the output. So to run this, I'll be using a live server which is a VS code extension. You can search for live server and install this. Uh, you can also use other things like NodeMon or simply open the um, index file in your browser. So let's start it. Let's open our console. So you can see that we have our video object. Let's show you. Okay, so the video is there. And if I play this, you'll be able to see the video feed. So what we need to do here is to set the autoplay flag to true so that every time it loads, it automatically starts playing the video. So that's our first step. We have access to our video feed. Now, next step is to perform the actual face detection. So to do that, go to tensorflow.org slash JS and click on see models. And if you scroll down, you'll see the simple face detection model and we'll be using this. It's called a blaze face and it's basically a lightweight model that uh, is used to detect multiple faces in images. It, it returns the top left and bottom right uh, coordinates of the square and also these um, five points which correspond to the eyes, nose, mouth, and ears. So what you need to do is copy these script tags uh, so that we can add it to our code and make sure that you add it before we include our own script. So now um, let's create another variable called model and say model is equal to blazeface.load next we will write another function uh, to detect the actual faces so let's call it detect faces and let's declare a variable called prediction and the blaze face model has a method called estimate faces 
inside that we will pass in the video element as the first argument and the second argument is if you want to return tensors or not so we do not want to return tensors we want the actual values of the coordinates so we will set it to false now this this is actually an asynchronous function so we will call await on it and make this function asynchronous now let's uh, simply console log this and see how it looks like and also uh, let's call this function detect faces and now if we try and run this you'll see this error called um, model.estimate faces is not a function so that is happening because um, the model before the model was loaded this detect faces function is called and this um, all this code is executing so we need to wait for the blaze face model to load so to do that what we are going to do is um, as soon as our uh, video feed is loaded we'll uh, call this and wait for this to load and only then we will call the detect faces function so there is an event called loaded data and we'll be using that so let's say video dot um, add event listener and inside that loaded data and once that is done which is the video element is loaded we are going to execute this function with these two things so uh, this is also asynchronous so what we will do is we will wait on this and make this async so only after this uh, blaze face loads our detect faces function is called and the prediction happens now let's see what's the output now you can see that there is one prediction that was made right and uh, we have the inside the prediction object we have the bottom right top left different landmarks the six face landmarks and the probability with which it detected the face also remember uh, the prediction object is actually an array that returns the uh, these properties for all the faces in the video so if there were multiple faces then uh, this would have uh, multiple objects so we've made the prediction. Next step is to simply um, display it on the screen. So what we'll do is that we'll first draw the actual video feed onto the canvas. And then on top of that, we will draw the rectangle enclosing the face and the different uh, face points. Let's add a canvas element. And give it an ID. And also let's give it the width of 600 px. And this should match up with the um, width and height of our video. And let's create another variable to hold the canvas element. So. And we only need a, a 2D canvas. So let's get the 2D context. So let ctx is equal to canvas dot get 2D. And next step is to uh, simply draw the video onto the canvas. So to do that, there is a method called draw image. So let's pass in the video element as the first argument. Then it also takes in the um, coordinates of the size of the image. So that is 0, 0 by 600 by 400. Now let's see the output. So you can see that um, this is not a video, this is just a simple image, um, which is happening because this function was only called once when the loaded data event was triggered. But uh, if you were going to detect um, faces in images, this was okay. But since we are working with a video, we ideally want to um, repeat this function 24 times or 30 times a second, according to the frame rate. So I'll use a set interval and call this function. Uh, let's st start off with 100 milliseconds. So that means that this function will be called 10 times every second. And let's see the output. And as you can see, this is much better. And our model is doing the prediction also uh, 10 times every second. 
Now let's uh, draw the uh, rectangle surrounding the face. So to do that, um, like I mentioned before, the prediction is actually an array of all the face predictions in the image. So I'll add a for loop. So now this, this variable pred corresponds to one face. And we don't need this console log anymore. So we are basically drawing a rectangle uh, which is uh, 4 pixels wide and has a, a blue color and the ctx.rect function it takes in the uh, top left coordinate and the width and height so that is why uh, we've actually uh, subtracted the bottom right coordinate minus the top left to um, get the corresponding width and height now let's uh, see the output as you can see it's working properly and the face is getting detected. So uh, at this stage, uh, we actually don't need this uh, video element to be there. So we can hide it easily using a display none. So now we only have this. And now let's uh, plot the other points on the face also. So it's inside an array called landmarks. So I'll say pred dot landmarks. And I'll draw small rectangles. So this will draw 5x5 five five rectangles or squares at, at these given coordinates in red color. So let's see the output. And you can see that's also working properly. Now if you wanted to match, the, match this up with say uh, 24 frames a second, then you can change this to 40 so uh, 24 uh, so a thousand divided by uh, 24 comes to around 40 so this function will be called every 40 milliseconds and now let's see the output and now you can see that the video is much less choppy and and the face detection is also quite fast so that's it for this video thank you so much for watching and if you have any uh, suggestions or any doubts, please put in the comment section below. And please like this video and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you in the next one.